<coughs> in this video I will talk about what is an extreme value. In other words, I will talk about the definition of an extreme value. So the question is the following. What What, what is an extreme value? I mean, in other words, how can you define an extreme value? I mean, the answer is that there are many ways There are many ways to define an extreme extreme value. In this course, In this course, I will talk about three, three different definitions of an extreme value. Okay. Uh, and once again, these are not these are these are not all the definition. These are just three of the definitions, three of the definitions for for an extreme value. Okay. All right. So the first definition for the first definition, let me show you a picture. If you could look at this picture, guys, um, on the x-axis is time, so it's in days from 1 to up to 365, 365, which is the number of days in a year. And on the y-axis, you have the data. And you have all these data points. There are 365 data points. And um, one way to define an extreme value uh, which are going to call definition one uh, so so the definition one it says that an extreme value is the largest data value. So in this case, obviously the largest data value is this one. This is the largest data point. So this is the extreme value. So this is the This is the largest data value. All right. So this is just one way, one way of defining an extreme value. The second way, the second uh, definition. Let's look at this picture, which is the same as before. You have the x-axis, which is the number of days in a year. 
and you have the y-axis which is the data. Now in this case I've drawn in blue a line across the data which I will call a threshold. Right? And this threshold is chosen large enough so that anything that goes above this threshold can be considered an extreme value. Okay, so in this case, all these data points, this one, this one, this one, this one, all these data values exceeding the line, exceeding the threshold can be considered extreme values. So this is the definition two, definition So in this case, the extreme values are data exceeding a threshold. So in this in this picture there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There are 11 extreme values because there are 11 data points which go above the threshold, the line of the threshold. Right. Okay, so unlike definition 1, here you have you have multiple or more than one extreme value. Right. The next one, so, so we d we've done definition one and definition two, and definition three, which is the final one, is going to be this picture here, right? So we have this, we have this picture, once again, the same as previously, the time axis and the data axis, but here we're going to look at remember not just the largest data point this is obviously the largest data point right so instead of picking just the largest we also pick the second largest we also pick the third largest we also pick the fourth largest and the fifth largest so in this case in this picture we have five extreme values because we have picked the first five largest data points are not just the largest but the first five largest right so so the definition three definition three is is like this so if I may write it down here definition three extreme values according to these definitions are the first few largest data values Right. So, in this case, the first five largest data values. Right. Okay, guys, so I've shown you three different definitions of extreme values. And now, in, in the next video, I will talk about, I will talk about definition one and how to go about finding the distribution of extreme value under definition one.